so hi guys welcome to your pedia education so today in this video we are going to interact with akanksha ashian so currently she is selected in hpcl and you know she have done btec then masters and then finally hpcl so in this entire journey you know what were the different stages and what were the obstacle and how did she overcome those all point and what was the motivation behind that you know she done btec in 2016 So it's a very long journey. So we will start and we will discuss a lot of you know key points of her journey and how she keep motivated herself. So before proceeding ahead, first of all, Akanksha, congratulations for your selection. Thank you very much, sir. And thanks for sparing few minutes for us, right? Yeah. So before you want so you you start sharing your own journey with the audience. So first of all, give your brief introduction, please. Okay. So my name is Akanksha Ashyan, and I belong to Meerut city in Uttar Pradesh. and i did my basic schooling from merit itself and then i went to pursue bachelor's uh, in technology from radha govind engineering college in electrical engineering branch and i passed btec in 2016 itself so this college is in the up only right uh, yes sir merit itself so is the private. government college or private college what kind of it's, college it's a private college okay So yeah. you know, in when you are in the final year, so what was basically mindset? I am talking about way back two zero one six. Now it's two zero two three. So what was your ultimate goal basically? Sir, uh, my seniors, I, I like got to know about PSUs from my seniors. Okay. Uh, when we interacted, then they told what are the PSUs and the basic, basically the package and the lifestyle behind it. So everyone like they were, we were very motivated. So we we wanted everyone wanted to go into PSU. So that time itself, we started preparing. Okay, so you also did masters, right? Yes, sir. So you passed out in two zero two one batch from Allahabad, right? Yes, sir. So you started your journey in two zero one six once you got passed out. So you start preparing for directly PSCs or you start your preparation for GATE exam? Sir, actually, uh, I. started preparing for gate as well as esc also okay so uh, between two examinations it, it was like i was stuck uh, to but my motivation was more towards psus only uh, ultimate so that was goal, ultimate goal was to get a good job in the psus or you know good government job that was the ultimate goal because nowadays if student are preparing parallelly for both ultimate goal is to get good you know government organization be it psus yes, be it through ies or be it some research lab right Yes, sir. So, how many times you wrote the gate exam? Sir, from twenty sixteen itself, uh, uh, I started giving gate examinations, but okay. I wasn't getting like good marks, so so that I can get into any PSU. Okay. So, but there was a mindset like I have to pursue M Tech also. Okay. So that is why I I went for M Tech also. So M Tech you pursued as a backup or what? Sir, uh, it wasn't backup. Like I had it in mind that I have to go for M Tech also. but but the more inter, uh, like more inclination was towards job only like first get a job then part time mtech also but so, when i didn't get any good rank in gate itself so that time i started thinking like i shouldn't waste more years so the, that time i went uh, for mtech okay so let's break down your past 7 year okay so the first 3 year i guess they were very crucial and very tough yes, right yes, sir, because yes, once sir. you get into mtech there were a kind of relief okay at least kahin na kahin teacher to lag hi jayenge yes, sir, yes, bana to main student community ke overview point of view se bata raha hu ye cheez right this kind of opinion yes, we sir. all have while rating the exam but yes, jab sir. aapke paas na mtech tha na aap mtech kare to us time obviously period bahut tough rehta it's very tough for all the aspirant right and that is the purpose of these interaction basically because now you have achieved the success and you are the basically biggest source of motivation and inspiration for them because at what time you were also in the same boat like yeah. the other students are there so can you brief out that journey from 2016 to 2019 how was it you know was it difficult to stay motivated was it difficult to stay focused you were not getting the result as per the desired what was your mindset at that time you know right now it seems quite good okay we got the selection finally we are selected right but if you can tell me that journey that will be quite impactful and useful for the listeners yes sir so when i passed the my btech then i started preparing for gate but uh, in 2016 itself first time i wrote examination i i qualified the examination but marks all marks also like wasn't very good i just cleared the cut off okay. so uh, i wasn't very happy because it was very less marks but 
one thing was good with me like my, my parents were very supportive they were constantly giving me points like uh, you should study like this like this and it's no big deal you will get success eventually if you uh, do your hard work do your part so okay. this was the thing that kept me motivated okay. so i prepared and then uh, it was uh, like my marks were improving but okay. not very much they were okay. not very good so okay. uh, i kept on giving exams and preparing okay then, can you tell me approximately i believe you know this is your first selection before this uh, have you been selected in any other exam sir i have given many examinations and i got uh, selected not selected but uh, i cleared cbt also okay uh, like five to six interviews i have given before but i wasn't selected so it was very hard time for me so that time i thought like i don't know if i am able to qualify or Uh, get into any good PSU or any job. Okay, can you recall approximate? Can you recall? Uh, unmute yourself, please. Hello. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, Akanksha, can you recall how many exam you wrote apart from the gate? That tentatively approximate idea. <laughs> There were many, like thirty to thirty-five. okay so why i am asking this question because in nowadays or in today's time student are writing only 5 to 6 exam and they are not getting result as per their expectation they start moving on yes sir you know ultimately what happen the whatever effort they have put in that domain that all get wasted yes sir because uh, the time when you are uh, you know bit prepared when you have achieved one level at that time most of the student decide to change the domain to leave this kind of thing that's why i'm asking this thing okay and it's not on only your journey it's with many student also i have interacted with so many student they already have written 15 20 25 exam and where they were unsuccessful yes sir. but still they were knowing that it's just a matter of chance we have knowledge we have prepared now well now it's the point of you know it should click on one exam and it will definitely so this is a bigger source of inspiration for all the student so don't leave your hope keep trying one day definitely you will get the desired position So okay, in HPCL there are two stages. One is the first stage, that is the written. Then is the GT and PI. Yes. So sir. what is your review about the GT and PI? So were you aware of these things that there are the second stages which include GT and PI, or were you already prepared? You were prepared with the mindset, or you got to know after the written result about this? Sir, uh, actually before HPCL also I have cleared some of the PSUs examinations. So okay. there also there was GT and PI as well. Okay. But Uh, only in hpcl i saw that uh, it it is a like elimination round in right. gt as well true, true. so this is the first uh, interview that i gave like that so okay. uh, be before also when i gave the uh, gt and pi uh, like it was good it was good experience but i uh, i didn't get the selection so i thought maybe i should improve more i have to improve more so then i joined yopedia Okay. and uh, in yopedia i gave like 6 to 7 gts were uh, right. gts uh, and vijendra sir uh, was there uh, i was all, always in like red zone matlab mostly i was in red zone so okay. that time i thought i don't know if i'll be able to clear it okay. but uh, on the day of uh, gt and pi when i gave gt uh, there were six members in my group okay Uh, so the topic that we got it was a bit lengthy like two pages two okay. pages were there so re after reading uh, first of all my mindset was like i i'm going to start the gt okay so when i saw the two pages uh, like uh, topic so that time i thought that i won't be able to start and i won't start so okay. when they told us like uh, okay start the gt so everyone was quiet for like one minute like how to start we were not uh, able to the, like start in the position to start it right yeah yeah so one guy was there like he got some courage uh, so he started gt he started the gt and then we all were like secondly i i uh, i took the part so uh, after that i started speaking so uh, i had in my mind like if i have to get the selection i have to show my home like full confidence with full confidence i have to speak so i started speaking but in my group uh, there were some members like they were not able to speak they wanted some like uh, kind of push so then uh, we were 
we were helping each other like you yeah. speak you are not able to speak so oh, oh. that is how it was done then i uh, i ended the gt okay so, you you concluded the gt right i concluded the gt okay so akanksha here you told that you already have given many pi before this right so yes. you know you got selected in this hpcl so i want to know in brief what was that x factor which you believe you did for hpcl which you were missing you know in uh, other psus sir uh, i would say like confidence level okay my confidence level wasn't good be before uh, i it it was in my mind like uh, i don't know anything i don't know anything so i think that some that some hampered it hampered with my confidence so this is the biggest thing i felt it's not only with you most of the students start doing their self evaluation and when they do the self evaluation they always underestimate themselves because what is happening now the job market scenario in india is quite competitive so obviously people are writing multiple exam and they need to write to get the good good job opportunity right but you know they are concluding on the basis of the results in those exam they are making conclusion that yeah if i have written 10 exam i am not able to qualify even one that at means i can't do it so these are not the basically judgment parameter there are some other parameter okay so this is very important curve or this is very important phase of your life when you have invested already 2 and 2.5 year into something else and you are not getting the better result as per your expectation then you can't do the self evaluation you need to sit with some experienced fellow with some mentor you need to discuss and address your issue right mm -hmm. so that's why i asked you this question and second thing now you got the success now people will not see your struggle and your journey they will see she did btech from the private engineering college now she got the job in the hpcl okay they will forget everything the hustle you did for uh, you know 5 6 year then you did mtech they will forget everything so yes, that is the basically purpose of these interaction student get to know the actual journey so it was not only that journey from you know you did btech from private engineering college finally got the hpcl but in between whatever different circumstances was there whatever different frustration failure were there whatever different stages were there how you handle that that is very important thing and honestly if x number of aspirants start preparing x by 2 number leave their preparation because of frustration and failure and they leave their preparation at the stage where they are very closer see nobody knows now whether he is closer or not when they start doing self evaluation they can't exactly evaluate so this is one of the great thing so abhi family mein to sare khush honge ki now finally your hpcl officer hmm yes sir they are very happy ऐसा भी ऐसा भी टाइम था जब सब लोग बोलते थे कि आ, अगर यहाँ पर सिलेक्शन नहीं हो रहा देन यू चेंज योर डोमेन और उस टाइम एक्चुअली काफी खराब लगता था बिकॉज मैं बहुत आगे पहुंच चुकी थी और right, right, right. ये तो दिमाग में था कि इवेंचुअली मुझे सक्सेस मिलेगी बिकॉज मैंने बहुत टाइम इन्वेस्ट भी right, किया right, है मैंने right, काफी right. पढ़ाई भी की है right, right. तो ऐसा इसलिए होता है क्योंकि वो टाइम आपने अकेले बिताया है कोई घर वालों ने आपके बैठ के पढ़ाई तो करी नहीं है राइट सो you can, nobody can know yourself better than you the point yes, is this sir. there might be many people who can give you opinion okay you do this thing you, you are not getting result that's what i always suggest na you know yourself better so if you are even taking suggestion from somebody else express yourself freely and clearly yes sir okay don't tell only few things because the person who is giving you suggestion he will give only on those basis so if you will express very clearly then only he will be in the right position to give guidance or mentoring so i'm really happy for you the journey you started from which place and now you are at which place okay so we joining kab hai aapka sir 8th of april okay that's great akanksha we wish you all the best on the behalf of the your pd education okay may you achieve many more success ahead coming in life and make your parents more prouder than this moment right so it will yes, be definitely a great video for the student they will get to learn that we should not leave in between we should stay motivated definitely we will get one day our desired position thanks akanksha definitely. right yeah thank you sir thank you very much